Each year, auto shows like this one here in New York City are showplaces for the latest cars, trucks, and technologies. Not only affecting the industry, but the way we all get from place to place. Driving programs and customer events like this Moab Easter Jeep Safari help brands like Jeep to showcase some great new products and capability. Join us now as we take you back to the events and vehicles that will make an impact for years to come. This is FCA Route 2016. It all started in Los Angeles as Alfa Romeo kicked off the 2016 auto show season with the North American introduction of the Alfa Romeo Giulia. Today, uh, to your point, is a great day for us in Alfa Romeo. We're launching the all-new Giulia, Giulia Quattrofolio, the sedan, the return of the sedan for Alfa Romeo. It's been a great day. Um, we're surrounded, obviously, by heritage vehicles here on our display as well. But the good news is this is a true performance vehicle and it's really true to the, the Giulia name. It's a sports sedan like back in 62 when we introduced the Giulia. It's the same idea. It's a lightweight performance vehicle with 505 horsepower, a 0 to 60 in a, in a record time of 3.8 seconds. Again, it's going to be a leader in the segment and it will set the benchmark for the segment. The powertrain of this vehicle, the power plant is going to be a uh, 2.9 liter bi-turbo V6, a 90 degree V6, and it's a Ferrari derived engine. Actually, part of the Alfa Romeo team it's led by two senior managers from Ferrari, so they bring a lot of expertise on high-performance engines. And this engine was developed for the uh, Alfa Romeo Giulia, so 505 horsepower, 443 foot-pounds of torque. This is for the premium segment, 26% of all the vehicle sales in the premium segment are um, sedan vehicles, so mid-size sedan vehicles. So it's a huge opportunity for the brand to grow there as well, and we know the loyalty rates are not as great as some manufacturers hope for, so it's all good opportunity. So we're, it's a perfect timer for Alfa Romeo to be reintroducing a sedan into the North American market. The Fiat 124 Spider marked its return to North America at the Los Angeles Auto Show as well. This all-new 2017 vehicle pays homage to the original Spider introduced nearly 50 years ago. Yeah, today we unveiled the 2017 Fiat 124 Spider, and what's going to be exciting for this is this will now be our fourth introduction into the North American market, and today we get a chance to really bring to market a rear-wheel drive performance convertible roadster, which, which is key for the brand is to pay homage really to our past. And this is the return of the best-selling Fiat in North America, selling over 170,000 units from 1968 to 1985. And next year will be the 50th anniversary return of the original inception of the Spider. If you look at the Fiat lineup right now, you've got that iconic Fiat 500 that we're known for in Europe, one of the most, really the icons of the brand. And then the 500L, which is our people mover, incredible amount of interior space. Then to the 500X, which is our most previous launch. All wheel drive capability, incredibly functional, and still won the Top Safety Pick Plus Award, which is the only vehicle in its class to do so. And then a performance roadster to follow it up that will really appeal to the historical enthusiasts that really have identified with Spider all along, as well as newcomers. Anytime you put the badge 124 Spider on a vehicle, you better make sure that you pay homage to the past. There are still 8,000 vehicles registered in the United States today, and this was one of the more iconic, affordable, premium sports cars in its past. And so in order to do that, some of the key exterior styles, performance attributes, the standard turbo, they're all required if you're going to put a name like a Spider on a car. So we had to make sure that we did that, and I think we've achieved that with our new entry. The year began right here at the 2016 North American International Auto Show in Detroit with a Chrysler brand unveiled its much anticipated, as you can see, next generation minivan. It's built right across the river in Windsor, Ontario. Now the minivan is not only all new from the ground up, it's got a new name. New, but familiar.
So the vehicle is all new from the ground up, um, you know, an all new platform that's going to give it the, the best ride and handling in the segment. Uh, it's going to be the quietest minivan in the segment as well. Um, then on top of that, you put uh, a, a beautiful wrapper around the outside. The designers have done an outstanding job uh, on the design of this vehicle. We invented the segment uh, 30 years ago and, and now we're reinventing it with the new Pacifica. We see the volumes going forward to be very stable. In fact, in the next, between now and 2025, there's going to be an increase in population of kids under the age of 13 by 4 million people. Um, so that's going to increase the demand for family related products. So we think this is great timing uh, and a great investment for the company that invented the minivan. This vehicle is wider, longer, uh, lower stance, um, so it's going to give us best-in-class interior room. Um, and then you add on top of that all of the new technologies that we've put into the vehicle with all of the safety features. It's got over 100 available safety features uh, on the new Pacifica. Uh, things that, that really, this vehicle will park itself for you. It will stop for you if you're backing up, about to run over a tricycle in the driveway. It'll keep you in your lane as you're driving down the highway. Um, so just a slew of, of safety features that really make this you know, one of the safest vehicles on the road, which is important to, to families that, uh, that drive minivans as well. And we've spent more money and investment into new and innovative features in this segment than any other company. Uh, we've got 78 segment firsts uh, in, in, in the minivan segment. We're going to add 37 more on top of that with the introduction of this, this new vehicle. With our 30 mile range on, on our hybrid, um, it's the perfect range uh, of distance that a family commutes on a daily basis. Um, so we think that's a great fit. But then you add the fact that we can house the batteries in our stow and go tubs and really not infringe on the interior space of the vehicle, which is critically important to, to the group of customers that buy these. Um, so with other hybrids, you sacrifice space for the batteries. Uh, in, in our hybrid, you don't do that. It's a bimodal segment. We see a large uh, portion of the vehicle customers that buy in this segment to have kids and family, but then it's also older customers that are retired and want to use it for a, a great road trip vehicle or take their, you know, their friends out for the evening. So, um, so it does appeal to a wider spectrum than just families. And with the technology and entertainment and the safety features that we put into this vehicle, not to mention all the cargo capability of it, especially with our stow and go seats. It's a great utility vehicle as well. So you can you can do it all in, in a minivan. And, and that's really kind of the, the tagline for our whole thing is there's no compromises when you buy a Pacifica. The all new Chrysler Pacifica wasn't the only unveiling here in Detroit. FCA took the wraps off a brand new two-story display that is really turning a lot of heads. Ed Garson takes us on a tour and gives us some insight into the new technology-rich display. Down the big Kobo Center aisle, staking its claim to a new spot, rotating pixels circling overhead, 69 vehicles on display, and 32 narrators to tell their stories. Attendees at the 2016 North American International Auto Show in Detroit will experience an all-new, bigger-than-ever FCA space. And... It's in high gear. The theme this year is called Gears. And the metaphor is we have six different brands here, including Mopar. Each one can operate independently, but if we all work together under the FCA umbrella, it's one strong engine. So the theme is Gears. From the all new Chrysler Pacifica minivan to the Dodge Viper Challenge Simulator to the ever changing light show. The stand, conceived by FCA and built by the George P. Johnson Company, is plum crazy with cars and technology. 30 million LED pixels in this stand alone, 40 miles of cable to get this all set up. We've got a control panel in the back that looks like a 747 aircraft. It's, it's something we've never done before and hopefully draws people to our stand and keeps them in for a long time. When the show opens to the public, there will even be a place with a Chrysler Pacifica theme for parents and kids to play and learn. What we want to do is encourage parents, mothers, children to come spend time in our, in our area uh, to talk about the features of the new Pacifica minivan. Uh, we're going to have some of the games that are involved, stow-and-go contests, demonstrations of the new vacuum cleaner, uh, all sorts of contests. We'll have clowns, we'll have face painting. 
At 62,000 square feet, this year's FCA stand is 12,000 square feet larger than last year's, the company's biggest ever in Detroit. And with a flashing gear-themed assault on the senses, it's literally running circles around and above the competition. I'm Ed Garston reporting for FCA Digital Media. Jeep is celebrating its 75th anniversary, and what better place to do it than right here in Moab, Utah, home to some of the most amazing off-road trails in the world. Jeep started off the year making news in Detroit with the introduction of its 75th anniversary special edition vehicles. And Mark Allen, head of Jeep Design, talks about the inspiration that the brand's heritage offers. I've got three vehicles back here, a Renegade, a Wrangler, and a Cherokee, and they're all painted a little bit different colors. They're, the color palette for the 75th anniversary is a military-inspired color from our very first flat fender Jeep. Uh, and they all have these uh, bronze details to them, the, the wheels, the, the bumper, some of the trim, uh, and then some very special badging that goes along with it. Picking the color palette itself uh, was important to we didn't want to have the same color on everything, but we, we came up with a range of military-inspired colors. Uh, and then for uh, Cherokee, it's a really dark uh, hue. It's called Recon. Very, very dark green, but, but uh, classy, right? For the uh, Wrangler, it's more of a, a military-looking green, kind of a, uh, an olive drab, but, but not drab. And then on the uh, Renegade, it's a much fun, more fun, funky green on it. Wrangler, such a special model for us. Really, um, what we're doing, uh, 75 years uh, of what the Wrangler came from, uh, the model has, has changed throughout the years. Uh, there's been several different versions, but essentially they look the same. Uh, round headlights, for a while we did square, but the, the slotted grille, the profile of the vehicle, very square topped, uh, flat front end. Um, it's the core of our brand, the Wrangler is. We derive a little bit of uh, every every Jeep that we make has a little bit of Wrangler in it, uh, in the styling especially. And we're proud that it's never gone out of, out of production. There's always been a version in production and they've always looked very, very similar. The customer honestly has changed throughout the years. Uh, the vehicle has, has been pretty true to its roots. Um, but, I, but I think it's, it's really special to be part of a, a brand that has that kind of a route that, that we've never wavered. It's, a, it's always been the same thing all the way through. That's pretty cool. Well, the next stop in the big auto show circuit was the Windy City. Here in Chicago, it was Ram Trucks' turn in the spotlight, where it introduced the new 2017 Ram Power Wagon, one of the most capable Ram trucks ever. Obviously when we talk about trucks we have the work segment, then we have the family segment, we have the luxury segment, but one of the most important segments is what we call lifestyle. Now that represents maybe 10 or 15% of the total customer group out there, but these are real true truck enthusiasts that look not just for individual styling, the unique personality of the truck, but great off-road capability. So Power Wagon for us is the pinnacle of our, our offerings that really goes to the heart of those people. Probably the biggest thing we've done is we've put on a uh, non-traditional grill and we borrowed that from our all-new Rebel uh, on our light-duty truck. So we've taken the RAM, the personality of that grill with the RAM lettering uh, and we've uh, integrated that into the front end. We've uh, also powder-coated the bumpers, both front and rear, to complement the same grain that's on that grill. So once again, borrowed a little bit from our Rebel. We also have uh, a unique wheel, a new 17-inch wheel that's uh, 
much more aggressive. Almost has kind of an industrial quality. Looks like a gear. The tailgate also has some of the DNA from the Rebel. So we've, uh, in this particular case, to match the front, we have the words Ram spelled out versus the Ram's head. The seats, that's probably one of the biggest things you'll, you'll notice when you get in the interior, is we've taken the cues that we did with the, with the Rebel when we did the tire tread. We actually took the Goodyear Duratrack uh, tire and did the same thing. We embossed it right up the center. We got a nice big power wagon kind of up the bolster. So it's a, it's a really nice graphical play. Um, and then the customer that doesn't want the vinyl and cloth interior, they could check the box and actually get leather now for the interior as well. We have brought in an all new cluster graphics, uh, we have new badging through the interior, and then kind of to, to cap it off, we've um, taken the headliner and A-pillar trims and done black throughout, throughout there as well. So it's a really nice appearance package and hopefully it really speaks to the customer uh, that's going to be buying the power wagon. it's not just about auto shows. Consumer events such as the Spring Festival of LX's are great places to see the passion our customers share. Our very own Dale Jewett takes us out to the annual event that shows the love for all things LX. Thanks Courtney. Every spring more than a thousand Mopar fans descend upon Southern California for the biggest customer driven event of its type in this part of the country. It's the Spring Festival of LX's. Cars such as the Dodge Charger, the Dodge Challenger, the Chrysler 300, and the Dodge Magnum Wagon. You'd be hard pressed to find a stock car in this group. Let's take a look. better and better. We uh, we were, myself and some of the other designers were watching cars roll in this morning and, and I was thinking, I'm like, this is just awesome that there is this much passion uh, it, from our customers for, for the cars that we design and produce. I, I love it and it just keeps getting better and better every year. This is, a, I think, a great venue for it. The level of cars, the customization that keeps going on gets better and better every year. The Spring Festival of LX's is an owner-focused event that keeps growing each year. Thursday evening marks the unofficial kickoff of Spring Fest, when fans who just can't wait for Saturday's main event get together in a Southern California parking lot to reconnect with old friends and show off their latest upgrades. LX vehicles of all types show up for the Spring Festival. Most have been modified to reflect the personality of their owners. There's nothing like this on at, at this scale, and if you're looking for ideas of either what car you may want to buy or what you want to do to your car, this is the place to be. You know, Springfest is basically owners driven, and we organize and orchestrate the whole deal uh, that you actually end up with, uh, you know, those who are passionate, and again, at any simple level, there's something to do, and, and that's why they're all here. If you got a brand new car or just getting into it, you want to see what the others are doing. And everybody's willing to share, so that makes it really special and super cool. We've been coming here for seven years to Springfest, mm -hmm. and we see so many different ideas from everybody else that uh, we kind of want to be unique ourselves. Right. In the end, it's not just about the cars, but the passion of the people who love to drive them. It's the culture, it's, it's the people that come together, whether it's here or otherwise, that make a big difference. Uh, and, and it keeps, you know, that bond just keeps growing and growing over time. For FCA Digital Media, I'm Dale Jewett. Well, while he was out west, Dale Jewett took a detour to Phoenix, Arizona, where he encountered a special program at the Bob Bondurant School of High Performance Driving. It's where both customers and professional drag race drivers learn to navigate tracks with turns. Press lane dodge. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Oh, look at Matt Hagen. 3.883 and look at the speed. Fastest in history, 330 miles an hour.
Mopar's NHRA drivers put a lot of focus on driving in a straight line. But they like turning left and right, too. The NHRA's annual stop in Phoenix in late February gave several Mopar drivers the chance to experience the power of street-legal Dodge cars and have some fun. When they let us out on the full track, like you actually got to, to feel the real horsepower of the car, and it was absolutely incredible. I mean, so proud to drive for Mopar and Dodge, and um, my first time behind the wheel of a Hellcat, so very awesome experience. To be able to come out here and to hop in you know, on these SRT factory hot rods and just have fun has just been, uh, it's been very, very enjoyable, very relaxing for me. Um, and it got my adrenaline going, man, and it takes a lot to get my adrenaline going. The Bondurant Racing School sits next to the Wild Horse Pass drag strip. That made it easy for six Mopar back drivers, such as Erica Enders Stevens and Matt Hagen, to walk on over. Last November, at the SEMA show in Las Vegas, Dodge announced a new partnership that makes Bondurant the official racing school of the brand. For an afternoon, the Mopar drivers and media members took some lessons and warmed the tires on the school's fleet of new Dodge Vipers, Chargers, and Challengers. They also met and spent time with school founder and racing legend Bob Bondurant. I learned a lot today. I learned that I probably should just keep going straight. <laughs> um, but no, in all seriousness, I mean, just the concentration and um, the importance of your eyes, like your car is going to go where your eyes go. And there's so much going on in the car, whereas there's a lot going on in my pro stock Dodge Dart, of course, you know, leaving with a clutch, having to shift five times by half track and, you know, no downforce, keeping it in the groove. It's such a different perspective here because that all happens so quick. And I would love to come back here for the full full-on class so I could actually be a student and, and figure out how to get good at it. It didn't take long for the Mopar drivers to get up to speed on Bondurant's 1.6 mile road course. And for drivers used to more than a thousand horsepower, the school's Dodge cars had plenty to offer. For FCA Digital Media, I'm Dale Jewett. One designer called Jeep Vehicles Legos for their ability to be customized, stylized, and personalized. At this year's New York Auto Show, FCA rolled out two luxurious versions of the Jeep Grand Cherokee, the Summit and the Trailhawk. It was back in 2013 when in response to consumer demand for even higher levels of luxury, we created the Grand Cherokee Summit. And that stands as the most refined Grand Cherokee ever, until this very moment that is. So ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to introduce the all new 2017 Grand Cherokee Summit. Now the new Grand Cherokee Summit is our answer to customers who have asked for even more. More luxury, more craftsmanship, more premium features, all in a full-size SUV that's packed with capability. The summit's exterior boasts a new look for 2017 with a new front fascia, new grille and new fog lamps and new 20-inch polished aluminum wheels. Now on the inside, a new full wrap leather interior in indigo and ski gray is one of four color schemes. We're proud to offer yet another authentic SUV that has earned the Trailhawk badge. Ladies and gentlemen, the most capable full-size SUV on the planet, Grand Cherokee Trailhawk. As you can see, the Trailhawk's distinctive, aggressive new look is consistent with the other Trailhawk models. The exterior features a front fascia that was introduced on the 2016 Grand Cherokee 75th anniversary. The Jeep story has lasted for 75 years. With products like the ones we've shared with you today, we continue to strengthen the bond we have with our customers, opening new opportunities for go anywhere do anything freedom and adventure, authenticity, and of course, passion. For people in the know, there truly is only one Jeep, and you can really see it in their faces. Thank you for your time.
joining us for this look back at all the great vehicles FCA has debuted this year. And for information on all FCA products, go to each brand's website or visit your local dealership. For the FCA Digital Media Team, I'm Ed Garston. And I'm Courtney Pratt-Sanders. Thanks, Thanks for, for watching. watching.